so they call this a Wymouth, if you want the fancy name for it, or you can call it a curb. All right, this section is going to take a few minutes, so if you're not a dressage person, fast forward. <laughs> But if you are a dressage person, this is going to take a moment because I want to talk about the curves or the Wymouth. So you use a regular Cavasin with the double bridle. All right, just a regular nose band. All right, and this is called the Wymouth and it has a chain. Okay, so this is the quote unquote severe part of the double bridle. Anytime you have a shank, it's much more influential and much more severe. That's why none of my bits have our shanked bits. Um, you have to you have to ride in a double. So what I do is I choose the Wymouth, the curb that is the least severe. All right. Let me tell you how you know. This is called the port. You want as low a port as possible. The higher the port, the more severe. There you go. How easy is that? So in the Western bridles or in the double bridles, the ports sometimes go way up to year. They're just monsters. The higher the port, the more severe. Stick with the low port if you can. The longer the shank, the more severe. Stick with the shortest shank you can find. Those are hard and fast rules across the board. Western people, pay attention. A lot of the Western riders do ride in shanked bits. A lot of the, um, the Western disciplines require a shanked bit to compete. You got to have it. A lot of Western riders feel like uh, you can't really ride a horse one-handed properly unless you're riding them in what I call a full bridle, a shanked bit. I try not to. The shorter the shank, the less severe. The longer the shank, the more severe. There you go. You have it. Um, across the board, the lower the port, the less severe, the shorter the shank, the less severe, and it does have a curb chain, and it's just part of riding with a uh, curb bit. So when you, I'm not going to put the double on anybody because none of my horses right now are wearing doubles, but it's a standard dressage bridle, and the double bit, meaning the Bradoon with the Wymouth and double reins so you're riding with uh four reins two reins on each side i'm not going to show you how to carry them it's not important right now it's not important for my training program so i'm not going to talk about that if we end up with an upper level horse that's in a double i'll talk about holding four reins all right so there you go there's your double bridle so this is for the most advanced of the dressage horses and if you can go all the way up and through grand prix with a German training snaffle or with a regular snaffle bit. If you have to compete, use the least severe bit that you possibly can. And, oh, just another tip about the doubles. If you want, you can just ride on the snaffle. So what I do when I'm riding on a double is I connect the horse on the snaffle and then I try to leave the curb rein as loose as possible. So really, even though the curb is in their mouth, you're really riding on the boogie, prefer. Okay, so there's that.